what sucks about being on the show. I don't get to see the transition. Mm. All right. Well, I see the little red light glaring in my corner eye. So, <clears throat> y'all know what time that means. Man, we got a lot of shit going on here, and I got a curtain down, and nobody can see what the hell's going on. I feel as though we need, we need to get at least a thousand more people in here before I lift the curtain. What's the chances of that happening tonight? Probably zero. Yep, I would say slim to none to never, so I don't guess we're going to do that. But uh, we could get the likes up a little bit. I mean, we could get them up to around, I don't know, six, seven hundred real quick. How about that? Let, let's try that real quick. <laughs> are we streaming the uh, president tonight? Yes, we, we we are streaming everything. When, when I lift the curtain, folks are going to realize I've got live cams in the Ukraine. We're going to have the president on and... We are going to be doing world premiere boxer yes, stuff tonight. So we got it all. If you, if something sounds interesting of what I just said, y'all just kick back because you're about to get a whole buffet of stuff. But anyway, let me go ahead and lift this curtain up because this is what you came for. You came to see the smoothest transition in any damn show game. Here we go. Wow, I think that was even smoother than what it typically is. But anyway, what's going on, folks? It is the True Vapor Show number 344. That doesn't quite sound like a good number right there, but I guess it's as good as it's going to get. We've got us a little special guest here tonight. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of shit going on tonight. So we got Mike back. I It took a while but we finally worked out some numbers and I got him back on here. That's what it was. He didn't want to come back till we renegotiated the contracts. So finally got him back. But let's go ahead and get this roller coaster started. And the person on the roller coaster right now, take it away, Mark. All right. Uh, same shit as always. We got the drag. Actually, I got a brand new build and cotton in here. And along with that brand new coil, oh shit! I used for the very first time in maybe three years real cotton. None of that cotton fucking pre-made shit. Is that the garbage you had when you started your channel? Yep, I still got some of them. Oh I don't know if God. cotton expires or not, but I think it uh, does. We got some of this. What is this? I forgot. Oh man. I want to say Stevie Marquis or Mark. Oh, I hope he's in chat because I forgot his name. Uh, banana, banana peanut butter. Damn delicious. Then we got the boxer triple with some of the uh, Nilla Killa. And that's right there. We got a pod. You damn skippy. We got a pod. We got this one right here called the Pyro. Best mm. of 2022. Coming soon, <laughs> folks. Did they make the payment? Uh, it's clearing as we speak. Oh, okay. Well, then it can't be the best yet. It might take a little while. <laughs> take it away, Mr. Mike Vapes. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Uh, yes, I'm still in a doctor's office. Long line. Guys, there's a long line here. So uh, what am I vaping <laughs> on tonight? We got the uh, the secret weapon here. Which is, that's what we're going to call it, the secret weapon. Inside the secret weapon, we got some deck zook. Oh, we got to do the, what's this called? The, the hand jimmy this, thing this is the in indoor smokers thing we'll do that <laughs> there you go we're vaping on that i'm also vaping on the uh there we go the pulse aio with the voltrove inside that we got some patches circus candy thing we got the boxer 21 700 with the intake dual with some Joe Mother F and Turner love juice inside there, the ultimate elixir. Take it away, ST. I think it's ST, right? Or is it uh, no ginger? Ginger, yeah. Uh, well, it's not. Oh, a by the way, guys, I'm not a surprise. Before we start, that that is not a green screen. That is the actual. 
That's the actual mansion. Yep. And he actually has attached to the man- mansion. He's got a strip joint in there. That's how badass he is. <laughs> Ginger, show them the strip joint. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, no, he picked, wait a he's in Vegas. He picked the wrong one. <laughs> you screwed it up. <laughs> oh, I did that on purpose. Ginger, Ginger, I let it. You go ahead. Give him a show real quick, but just real give him quick. a glimpse of the. There we go. There's the strip <laughs> show. Yes. There you go. <laughs> oh, well, it's All not right. a surprise what I'm vaping on. We have <laughs> a, a DNA 100 uh, with an eclipse. Got to get my eclipse. We got a DNA 75 with an eclipse. I got the new dual, we're out of the screen, dual 18650. What's that one? That's the um, uh, the Helheim. You get the Helheim on that one. That one I'm saving for later. And of course, we've got the stump. There it is, folks. (laughs) We got the little stump. That I'm amount that, to right? tools. Um, my my juice distributor isn't as cheap as Mark, so I have a real bottle here. Look at that. 500 shit. milliliter of, uh, of the banana. And that's in every single one of them. I know, boring. But that's all I got. All uh, right. You take it away, SD. Well, you know, I mean, when the man's here himself and, and the payments are being made, I mean, here we go. Boxer side by side with the intake MTL. Look at this. I actually slapped something new on this one. Here we go. Boxer classic and got the big fat ass Valerian pro two on that joker right there. That thing holds like, uh, I think a hundred mils of juice or something like that. So it'll last you, you know, a week before you got to refill it. Uh, oh, and that one, I finally got this. Y'all been hearing me ramble about this apple shit, whatever it is, apple, apple, apple. Well, yeah, I finally got it vaping on that. And all the damn pod systems, you know it. Do I, do I really need to show it as usual? I don't think so. So anyway, man, we've got an eventful evening going on here. We've got some world premieres going on. And I believe Ginger went all out on this one. He has spent probably, I mean, you see where he's living at, but he's probably <laughs> spent, I don't know, just this past week, about 30, 40 grand in new cameras and down low equipment. So yep. we're going to get us a little treat <laughs> there on stuff. But I, I do. did my, uh, my man cave just for the show. Yep. We do have a few things, though, because I know bachelor is stewing right now because he donated earlier and it hadn't been read yet bachelor thank you for the donation there sir he says st did you get greg biffle on i don't think that's greg biffle and obviously mark's probably going well who the hell is greg biffle who do you think greg biffle is nascar driver anyway huh a biffleizer Yes, they, exactly. The show. Oh my God! And, and anyway, David Blackman, thank you for the donation. He says, "Howdy, St. Mark, guys and gals, uh, you forgot Ginger there." So, uh, and there's like all kind of shit going on. I can't even keep up anymore. So I think I'm just gonna start playing around on my camera. One other shout out because this man will absolutely go nuts if you don't shout him out. Marvin Norton has entered the building. Everybody give him praises and glory and, you know, everything you can do right now because he is the oldest some bitch in vaping. So there you go. Oh, is there anything else that I've missed? I don't think so. Mark, I think you want to, you don't want Ginger to do his thing. You want to take the stage. So take it away. Oh, no, I'm just, showing, I'm just showing my, uh, I never thought I'd see that day. Yep, that, that I didn't is. think I'd see it either. Oh, it says warning. Yes. What the fuck is the warning about? Well, why don't you tell us about the warning? About the reach of children, keep away from up oh, that. I guess leaves me out of the question. Oh, you can't sell it to minors? Why not? Mark, will you be able to put a build on that thing or not? It'll take me a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Well, there I we go. I bought one there. for my kid, actually. 
<sighs> anyway, I'm moving on from all that shit. So uh, we do have Ginger joining us tonight. He does have the new Burrow device to show everybody. And actually, two other devices. One's not really new, but he's got something. And I'll just go ahead and say this. He's got this, but it's in a little different style. And, of course, you know, I got to say it. He's got the stump. <laughs> so, damn, we're going down low quick. So, there it is, folks. You can now get these with the Boxer logo on the side. If you are wanting. Of course, these are the 18650 ones. This son of a bitch copied my download camera. Who? <laughs> Ginger? Yeah. I think he put a little bit more money into his, though. I don't think so. Uh, I had, uh, I, I was fortunate enough with Mike down in Florida. He lent me his uh, contractors that built his 42 vape shops. So they were in and out in three days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, Ginger. Let's go. We have sat here and talked about this shit forever. And I know for a fact I've talked to you forever. And there's been what, at least a thousand folks hit you up asking, when the hell are you going to do a burrow device? <sighs> do you have enough likes yet in this, uh, in this video? Oh yeah. We got like a million likes ready. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we've been, we've been sitting on this one for a couple of years and, uh, I got to give Mike credit. Mike, uh, I was just telling him he, he motivated us to finish it and, and come to come to market with it. Um, so here we are. Here we are. And if y'all don't know what we're talking about, Mike, you want to fill them in what happened to you a little while back? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I was I wanted the 3D printed uh, burrow device. So I had some whatever, a little drama going on over me trying to get a borrow device. So uh, I told Ginger, Ginger, I think it's uh, time, man. You need to make it happen. And he made it happen. It was something he was working on. I don't think he really wanted to do a burrow device. So I had to twist his arm a little bit, to, you know, to make it happen. And he's made it happen. Yep. So I'm enjoying it. Believe it or not, I'm enjoying it. I always said, uh, no, no, not me. Not me. I like the, uh, I like the, uh, the tanks. I like a, an eclipse. I like a GT4. Uh, why take out why take out the Volkswagen when you have when you have a Mercedes or a Bentley? Yeah, uh, I but, prefer. I'm like you. I prefer an RTA all day long. Yeah, you know I like. Um, that's the way I vape too. But you know I kind of like this little like, little compact thing like this. Yeah. Also. Yeah. So. It's it's compact. You could take it out with you, and and the burrows and the bridges that. I haven't, you know, in all honesty, I haven't tried using it in, you know, I've got a billet box sitting here for about uh, uh, three or four years and I, I haven't touched it. Oh, my phone's ringing. I'm sorry, guys. Uh -oh. um, and um, I updated. I got, I got a few new burrows. I got a few new bridges, including the Voltro. Uh, and they've come a long way. It's 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 pretty close. It's pretty close. Yeah. We're not vaping in nineteen in nineteen in twenty fifteen anymore. We're up to about twenty nineteen now. <laughs> um, with the boroughs. Um, but yeah, you get you get it. It's just so convenient. Um, it's so convenient leaving with with something so small that nothing's sticking out of it. I mean, most people know the size of of the DNA one hundred. You know, it's it's smaller than a DNA 100, even even without the tank. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and it's just it's just very convenient, obviously. Let me do this real um, quick. With it. David Blackman, thank you for the donation there. He says, howdy, Ginger and Mike, too. <laughs> but uh, oh, and Torola, you know, he's coming in hard with those freebies. He says, hello and good evening, gentlemen and Mark. He always leaves Mark out like that, which is probably very appreciative. But how about we do this? I mean, we've been talking the shit out of it. And if people are not in the boxer group, they they might not even know what this thing looks like yet. So you want to go ahead and do that famous 
Sure. Dive Let's do down the, the and, famous down low. Yep. And take a look at this thing. All right. So I guess I guess we'll start. We'll take the battery out, which I have a, a 30T in there, vape cell 30T. So we got positive down. Nice big markings. Nice big markings. Uh, made in USA. No white on black. I want a no white. white on black. No white on black. <laughs> Can I take a white marker? Get the battery in. We got uh, SD wanted a screen on the bottom, so there we go. That's see, I love that right there. Yeah, that is really nice. Screen that's what I love because that's got, like the super, super clicky, super clicky buttons. Bring backs to Vapor Shark. Yep, got a vulture over in there. Now, this is a prototype, so uh. The black will be much blacker, much blacker on the real one. This this just has the uh, the old style, the OG black on it, not the infinity black. Um, here's your burrow cover. Um, and there's, there's your view from all the sides. That's, that's your battery door. So you just click in there to, to open. Seal. Oh, I'm not on camera. Seal it. You're on camera. You're good. Yep. Um, now, how easy, how easy does that burrow slide in and out of there? Well, it's this one's super easy again because it's 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 a prototype. So this this one's super easy. It's gonna it's gonna click in like when I put pressure on it. Mm -hmm. it it'll be like you'll you'll hear it snap, just like all of our mods. There's no magnets. Um, zero, zero glue in this mod, zero magnets in this mod, no internal screws. We put, we put two screws on the bottom right over there. And that's just so people can change. I'll post a video up here on, uh, the instructions on changing out the, um, um, the bottom plate, if you want to do a split, like if you want to do black with gray or white with black or, you know, the split finishes. Um, it's just two two um, hex Allen screws that pop out um, the chip. Oh, I'll I'll give instructions. Uh, it's easier to show than explain. People are asking those, about those, those got a couple of screws. questions. People are asking about the drip tip and how it, how it works and what kind of tip is it is and all that. Uh, any any five ten drip tip. It's um, well this one this one it's not integrated but it's almost acting it's a like, like it's integrated. It's a it's a borrow it's a borrow style yeah it's, it's a regular screw on. yeah it's a regular people, screw on nut that, yeah. that if said people want to know in. about the if you have if you have integrated uh, tips that'll <laughs> work <laughs> no i'm sorry go on That's i can't read the though. chat don't worry about it um so yeah you can you can put any 510 drip tip uh on this or uh, there's integrated drip tips. You got flush nuts. This is a flush nut, you know, but if I took, um, here's, uh, here's Tony's, here's the pulse. So, so if I took the pulse, unthreaded his nut. Oh, so the nut is the 510 adapter kind of, right? Right. That's the way all billet boxes are, uh, Mark. I take my nut out. It's the same thing with all. Of, that's the same thing as a regular billet box. Just the nut. and there's and there's Tony's nut, where the five ten sits in the nut. Okay, which that sounded a little weird, but a lot easier to do when you have the the tip already in it. Uh, people want to know about the uh, no USB. No USB. Um, we, we were going either way with it. Uh, we figured the billet box doesn't have a USB. We're not going to put one on. Um, I spent hours. There's Tony's, there's Tony's flush nut. Um, no problem. Um, we spent hours programming. If anyone has the SBS, they'll know we've got, we've got themes on there. We've got every kind of profile imaginable. Um, there's no reason to connect it to USB to, to eScribe. Everything, everything's already done. Um, it would have made the mod bigger. It would have made the mod a little more expensive. And uh, 
you can't argue with the success of the billet box and and they haven't had one yeah uh hey let me read these donations real quick of course mark's personal butler he's always in here he says uh love the show and everyone there hello ginger i'll order another boxer mat soon uh he's gonna want you to order a device not just a mat so make sure you do both and we can't forget our favorite angel gomez thank you for the donation he says what's up big papa and crew just wanted to show support thank you very much there sir and oh see he drops one and then he drops a freebie i see how angel's trying to work his stuff but he says any chance of a dna 100 xl version boxer burrow damn god we don't even have this one uh shipping yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to tell you the truth to tell you the truth you don't need a hundred watts chip for a borrow device it's, un- it's unnecessary when it comes to wattage yeah, we, we play. I'm sorry. The DNA, the DNA 60, I think, is uh, perfect for the for a uh, borrowed device. We um, we played around with with the DNA 100 and and the DNA 60. Um, there is a huge huge difference in in size between between the two um, chips. And, Mark, is that uh, your damn we, dog barking? Yeah, it's my dog. Oh, it's that's your. Dog. I forgot you had one. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, Ron yeah. said, "St, your cat is barking." <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> um, it just would have been the mod would have been bigger, and it's it's exactly what Mike said. I mean, most of these most of these bridges, their sweet spot is thirty to fifty watts. Um, yeah. You don't really want to go over that, and to have a bigger mod that nobody's going to use the extra wattage, it 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 really didn't make sense. Right. As long as it's a 21700, you're fine. Now, one more thing. Uh, this is another question I wanted to ask you. And the funny thing is that Ricky Mahoney, I think it was Ricky, actually asked the same question in chat. Why could there's no way to put the micro USB where the battery goes on the inside? We could have put a micro USB in there. Um, without making it, the device bigger. No, no, the mod, the mod would have been no matter what the mod. Uh, do I have one loose here? I don't. Uh, well, I have one that's already attached. Um, this is the the USB port. This is the Evolve USB port. Right. Um, so, so basically, what's what's involved is you've got five five outs five outs on the on the USB board, five inputs onto the onto the Evolve DNA sixty board. So, you know, you're doing something like this and then you're wiring these into, into the board. So you, yeah, the, it's wire, so it's flexible, but you still need to leave the room for this in there. Um, and then you need obviously somewhere, somewhere on the unit um, to mount it where, where it's gonna go. You don't wanna put it on the bottom anymore because, because of no, the screen. Right here, um, look. We could have right put here. it on the side. No, 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 no. Right here. If you can focus. This is where the batteries go. Right. See? Putting it right there, inside here. So you would have to take the batteries out to, to program. For anybody, for anybody that would want to go on to eScribe. That's what the question is in chat. Yeah, this, just- this really if 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 anyone has our SBS, they'll know. Um, it's going to come with the same programming, you know, a different, uh, uh, actually it's the same battery curve because it's the same battery. Um, what's the, what's the SVS thing? He's talking about this, this the, the side by side. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so it's going to be the same theme, the same eight user profiles that have every single wire there, watt boost, uh, regular wattage, um, preheats. It, it's got there's really nothing somebody could do except maybe change the theme. Um, if somebody is tech savvy, all they need to do is is they could do they could do what I have here. You know, I, I made this. It's it's just the USB port on a on a cable with with five pins. 
So, so technically, you can connect the the US, US, micro USB, plug this in, just take the battery tray off, plug it in, and, and you can program. Um, not, not difficult at all to do. If, if enough people want it, I can make this available. You know, that's, what, that's another thing I was just going to say. Warren, yeah, you know, I could I option. could make this available that that anyone anyone could do it. Um, it's just all right. A lot of people get get DNA devices. They go into the settings. They mess something up and the mod doesn't work or, you know, they change the battery configuration. They change something with the settings. It's not a DNA 100 or a DNA 250 that there's all these themes out there. Um, so there's no benefit. Obviously, if there were different themes um, and the color screen, we'd, we'd, we wouldn't even right. think twice about it. Exactly. Um, but it would add, it would add a little bit of size to the mod. Um, and it would add, it would add, um, it would add cost. It would add cost. It's another board. And it's it's ten more SATA connections for for my text to do. Yeah, for me personally, I think that with not, not having the USB for me, it's no big deal. I don't care for that. But yeah. I think it's a good idea to at least offer that as an option on the site for people that are into tinkering. That they just need to go in there for some reason. Yeah, they'll be able to. Uh, let me read this we, out we, real quick. We can. That's easy enough. Uh, Omar, because you know Omar too. If you don't read his shit prompt, Omar gets pissed. Omar, thank you for the donation. He said, so Ginger created the boxer or designed the boxer. Either way, great job. Keep going. Damn, I think uh, Omar's kind of calling you out, Ginger. He doesn't know if you're the CEO or like the mass producer here. <laughs> well, it's He's not mad. mass produced, that's for sure. He's missing. Um, yeah, no, no. We, I, I have a designer, obviously. Uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, savvy with the uh, the 3D programs to to design and put put my ideas onto printable formats. Uh, we'll see, but we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll see. That's where Mark comes into play because he is good yeah. with shit like that. Yep. Well, yeah. that's why we're doing the bulk boxer next. Here we oh go. shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. You kind of jump back up real quick, but I know we're, we're we're showing the burrow off. But uh, let's dive back down real quick and uh, give these folks an idea. I want I'd want them to see like size comparisons with the okay, uh, stump. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So so there, there's the SBS. The clo the closest one in size is is the DNA 100. Okay, so there's let's get them. At the same height, the same bottom, at least. Yeah, that so thing. There, that thing's small. We take, uh, you know, a, a dual. A, that's the dual twenty one seven hundred. So it's smaller than the DNA one hundred, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn. And the hundred small. <laughs> How the hell is that possible? Holy shit! That's uh, that's the DNA. The DNA 250 with the 18650s, and if anyone wants to see the 21700 next to the 18650, that's the difference. Now let's get. And the big one is what you're waiting for. Is is let's move that next to it. That's the side by side. Yeah. So here so come. I got I got a question for you. Uh, one second here. Oh uh, God, where to go? So the side by side's a little a little shorter, but it's oh, it but it's wider. It's that much wider. Right. All right, uh, Ginger. Yeah. Partha says, but the latest SP for DNA sixty is what offers preheat. I bought a Dalco college, and it came with base firmware with no boost enabled. Thank God. Oh no, we have, we have all that. We have all that in in there. We're on the. Uh, well, actually, the DNA sixty. I could look it up. You want me to look it up? Let's let's go right in there now. Um, if there's something newer than this, we'll we'll check at the last minute. But DNA sixty. Oh, real quick shout out to Vaporos Vape. Welcome to the crew there. Thank you for joining up, sir. 
is, let's see. DNA 60 is service pack six, 6.1 international. That's the, uh, that's the latest. 1.2 SP 6.1. Is uh, Russia a part of this international firmware? Yes, it is. I can, I can 100% confirm that. You, you're, you're killing me over here. I, I'm wanting these folks to see something. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. Okay, you wanted you wanted to go back to the to the side by side. I want to do these comparisons so when these folks see this last one, they're going to be going like, "Holy crap!" You want to see it next to? I got one more to compare it to. A billet box. There you go. But that ain't the one I'm talking about. But there you go, folks. The billet box is eighteen six fifty. Yeah. Oh, somebody and that's asked. Eighteen six fifty. Yep. Somebody, somebody did but, ask. But the front the, to back. Yeah. Front, front to back. That's that's the the size the size savings. The boxer is a twenty one seven hundred. I seen somebody ask that question a second ago. Would you want to see it next to the stump? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, I thought I had that. I thought that was the first one. There's the stump. So Jesus that Christ. stump is shorter. Look how small that is. <laughs> I think it's so fucking tiny. <laughs> now, folks are probably wondering, well, what battery does that take? That is a 217. No, I'm just kidding. That's a 18350 on the stump. So Stump next to the lipo. <laughs> you could put like three stumps in the lipo. <laughs> Um, yeah, the stump, the stump is just tiny. Where's the, where's stump the button add on it? I wasn't even paying attention. There's the, uh, there's on the what? 18350. On the, the burrow mod. Oh, Mark wants to see the button. Well, two people have been asking, what finger do you use to press the button? I'm like, what? Is the button in like an odd location or something? No, it's the same, same exact, um, same exact layout as the SBS. So everyone who's been using the SBS for a year or a year and a half, there's, there's no difference. Um, I'm going to have to go back. Well, there's your buttons. You have, you have the fire button down and up. Oh, it's lower down there. Okay. So it's lower. So, so okay. I'll have to go back up top. <clears throat> I'll have to go back up on top, but so that's what they're referring to. Vape, vaping it is is just like this. So are you using like your middle finger or you're like your, your if you hold finger? if oh God, you got you got lots of choices. If you hold it this way, then then it's easy with your thumb. Okay. If you turn if you it this the way, SBS, yes. If you got the side by side, it's the same way of if you turn it, if you turn it the other way, now, now I, I could reach. Oh God, I could reach around with my thumb, but that's that's tight. It's much easier to come this way, and whichever you're more comfortable with. You know, if you're more comfortable with your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, pinky, pinky's too too high. It's too high for your pinky. But uh, Bar whichever, White wants to know what is the stump called on the website. That's the micro micro eighteen three fifty. I'm still to this day a little <laughs> you don't upset. Like micro. No, I don't like micro. I wanted to say the stump on there, but I understand. I don't. I don't own the company, so I don't get to make that call. But <laughs> now the micro the micro is is really a specialty item. You know, I, I don't want people to get this. Put a it, it's a DNA sixty chip in it. So it can handle a lot more than the battery can handle. Okay, you could vape sixty watts on it, but if you're going to build, if you're going to build at a 0 0.2 coil and vape at sixty watts, you'll probably get fifteen pulls before you get a check battery. Yeah, the, stump, know, the stump is primarily for MTL vapors. Exactly. Right. We we did this because all I saw you guys vaping on with these disposables and pods and i said no 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 i'm not doing that i'm not doing that let let's get let's get a, a mod that we could put whatever tank we want on it vape six milligram nine twelve milligram if you like salts 
If you want a card on here, you could put a card on here. Um, and it's good. I mean, I'm vaping this at about 25 watts. I've got a 0.9 coil on here and I'll get about 250 pulls before I get a check battery. Um, yeah, because folks, you got to remember now, th this is what it's running. A little 18350. So you, you can't put on your uh, your 30 millimeter RDA and think you're about to go buck wild on some micro device. <laughs> so <laughs> you got to, you got to, it's for a certain person. It's for somebody that likes MTL stuff. It's, that's what it's strictly for. So and just to be clear for those out there that have no clue what's happening, the Burrow mod does not work with 510 atomizers, right? You, they right. make, they make a bridge. They make a bridge that you could put, you could put a, an RTA on or an RDA or, or sub own tank right on top. Oh, wow. It's, a, it's like a $10 bridge. I think Tony makes one actually, Tony B. Um, so yeah, you could, you could run it like a regular mod too, if you, if you really wanted to, but there's no point. You're better off getting, if yeah. that's what your intention is, you're better off getting the DNA 100. Yeah. Um, so the, I, I never really used my, my billet box. So you drop the, you, the burrow tank drops in there and it's held down with that nut at the top. Is that the correct? nut top holds it, holds it and, and right. It holds it in and, and rests on the 510 pin. A 510 pin that's, that's uh, on the bottom is, is adjustable. Uh, so when you have... If you have a, a bridge that is high or too low or whatever the problem is, you just you just adjust the pin. When you fill it, do you have to remove it or no? Or no. You don't, depending on the yeah. burrow? Well, Depend, I, depends on the burrow, but I, I don't think, Mike, you, you're more familiar. You know, I only know three or four burrows. I don't think you have to remove it for any of them. Wait, what is he asking? If you have to, well, to, fill, to fill the burrow. The Voltro has the little tab on the front, so you would just slide that cover off and fill it like that, so you don't have to pull it out. You mean you tell me you've had that Voltro for how long and you didn't open it. the box to look at the tank? <laughs> no. The oh, fuck? I've had it for three hours. The The last tank I used had a sliding glass door. Wait a minute. Was... What do you mean you had it for three hours? You, you've had that for a few days now. No, no I did it, not. No, I just, just got this today. He just got his in the mail. So I'm look at the tank. I just look at it. Just I'm not the asking... I'm not asking about this tank. Not everyone in the in the in the uh, chat is going to own this tank. I'm asking about every other tank that does not have that type of fill port. What? So what is the question? How do you fill it? Do you have to remove the tank in order to fill it, or does it? No, because then on? if you remove the tank to fill it, then you're gonna your liquid's gonna go everywhere. No, 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 no. I know what Mark's trying to say now. So in, oh. the, in the billet box, you could slide the glass without having to remove the tank. On That's, this yeah. one, would you be able to slide the glass without having to remove the tank, or do you know that? I'm oh, asking you, you Ginger. Asked if the billet box burrow inside that. Yeah. If yeah. You no, no, so you don't. Nice. You don't have to. You don't have to remove it. Not not on the Voltro. No, 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 um, no, 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 no. Some of those tanks to fill them, you have to slide the glass up. There is no tab that you flip up down. to fill it. Yeah. yeah. Is there enough space? where you wouldn't have to remove that tank just to slide the glass up to put juice in it. Oh, if you have one of the, the older style burrows, yeah, you can, let me, I'll, I'll change it quickly. I'll show you. Like I wasn't aware. I, I didn't know every burrow has these little fill plugs now. The only burrow yeah, that I've ever used is the sliding glass window. That's the only one I've I, ever I, used. And same with me. Like yeah, this. I, I didn't understand the question. So the question you want to know, Mark, is, can the billet box tank, borrow tank, work inside Ginger's new boxer mod? Well, fill Can it. You up. Slide the glass yeah. open. Here you go. Here you go. You don't have you don't have a tremendous amount. So so here you go. This is this is the old style window. So so you can slide down. You have that much room. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. That's exactly uh, what I wanted to know. Okay. okay. You have that much room. That's exactly what and I then, And then you slide back up. Oh, perfect. That was a good question. 
because I didn't even think about that with the older style ones where you actually had to slide a piece up. Yeah, Another thing is it like when you unscrew the pin, does the tank fall out easily or is it kind of like kind of in there with a little resistance to it or is it just like? Well, it's it's not going to come out with the with the burrow cover on there obviously if if you if you took the if you took the the nut off and the burrow cover off then then you just you 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 know you give it a that's what i was wondering like that i was wondering if it needed a little tap or if it just like if you tipped it over it just kind of dropped out there they're all different sizes. There's no universe. They're all close. They're all very close to each other in terms of height and width. But but some are some are like the Voltro take, for instance. They had a they had to recall them um, because they'll they'll work in billet boxes, I think, up until 2019 if you have a 2020 or a 2021 or a 2022 i'm not sure which year it is it might just be 21 and 22 um it won't work they change something in the billet box i think the way it's painted or coded and and the the vulture doesn't fit um gotcha. so so he pulled them all and There'll, there'll be no more Voltrols available for, I don't even know, you know, he, he keeps, he just says a, a while, it's going to be a, a while. Um, but, you know, I've, I've, everything I've tested it with is, is fitting in there perfectly. Um, so uh, Rick- I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be one or two tanks that might be an issue. You know, I don't know them yet. I don't know them yet. Yeah. Voltrov works. The um, the, um, the the Vandy Vape Tony's works. The the OG one works. I'll have a five twenty here to bar to check, and I'll have a and I'll have a vape snail here to check uh, before this week is up. Gotcha. Um, don't see any issues with them. All right, let me read some of these donos. Uh, vaping bachelor, thank you for the donation. He said, "Stop the vaping talk nonsense immediately." St, shut your <laughs> mouth, bachelor. And Omar, thank you again for the dono. He says, Mike, is the Boxer Classic DNA is your project? If it is, that is actually impressive. Yes, that was a collaboration between myself and Mr. Ginger. That one right there. There you go. There it is. I used to always say, how I wanted so badly a fucking 100 watt DNA chip. I said it so many times. I even told, uh, what do you call it? Brandon from Evolve. I told him this a few years ago. I'm like, dude, when are you going to make this 100 watt chip? Ah, oh, we don't know. He kept on saying, I'm like, no, you need to make a 100 watt chip. And finally he made it. And that's why also uh, Boxer was the first to have the DNA 100 chip because of that reason, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it was something that I kept on nagging him for years and he finally did it. So, so we decided, you know what, we're going to collab on this project, you know, and then to top it all off type C. I was like, yeah, buddy. People are asking about an adjustable pin on the inside. Like uh, Tony, yes. what's the point of that? Adjustable pin is um, cause, cause different burrows, the bridge that's inside will sit at different heights. Oh, okay. So there could be a possibility that um, your your bridge doesn't hit. No matter how tight you tighten that top screw, it doesn't push down enough to hit the hit the five ten pit. Yeah. Um, billet boxes have no adjustment, and some older ones. There are people who fix it. It's not the end of the world. But it happens quite often where from from tightening that thing down so hard, you you move that pin and it goes recessed into the mod and nothing, nothing works at that point. Yeah. I had a situation with uh, I think it was the 520. It's called the 520 burrow tank to where I put it inside the pulse AIO and it wouldn't fire. And I was like, look how handy this comes in. You know, and I had to fight the adjustment. I made the adjustment. And it worked. So nice. Here's, uh, I'll give you guys. I'll give you guys a close up. Uh, 
oh, come on, focus there. So there, there's the 510. That's, that's what you'll see inside the mind. Shining because it's silver. And uh, it's a regular, a regular screw. And it just... Yeah. I'm surprised as rich as you are, you didn't go with 24 karat on those. But that's <laughs> just making a statement. <laughs> there you go. Diamond studded? That's, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's your 510 pin. Uh, people asking if you have to remove the door to fill. Well, there's a slider, the little slider piece in the front. You have to pop that off to fill the tank. Unless you have three hands, yeah. It's, 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 well, you got, I took, I took the tank out of it when I was doing it. But, uh, oh God, I didn't even notice that it had a door on it. Holy Jesus. Oh where, where you been? I'm wondering I about know. you, Mark. Well, I'm so, <laughs> I've seen a few. Doesn't that one that one Burrow mod have a doesn't have a door? You just see the tank. Well, he just didn't have the he didn't have the door on it. If oh, you, okay. Remember, that's Another that's thing without is that's without use, the door. You don't have so, to use yeah. the door. You you, oh, okay. you you have the door. Okay. Yeah. You can't. You can't. You, you gotta. If you go that high, it's gonna fall. No, no. What they're saying is. Do you? I think the question was: Do you have to remove the door? Well, yeah, obviously, yes. Yeah, this is the cover. Trying. the The burrow, the burrow cover, yes, the burrow yeah, cover. You know. But but this, you just slide it off. Yeah, but the, you don't have to use the door. Also, if you don't want to use that door. <sighs> okay, we we right. You don't have to use this door. It serves no purpose other than covering up it's the burrow. Of, it's it, all it's tightened in from from your. It's right. cosmetics. Yeah, from from your top nut, it's it's yes. tightened in. It's I'm not missing. going anywhere. If I go like this, it's not it's not going to fall out. You could vape on it. The connection. How does that door stay in place? Does it click or anything, or just slide? This on or? no, you you just tighten it, and it and it forces it. It's oh, okay. pushing from the top down. Okay. Um, now the units are going to come like this. The units are going to come like this because there seems to be, I made a post, there's a ton of confusion. Um, you order a black mod, you're getting a black mod, a black door, a black bottom screen, a black battery cover. You order blue mod, same thing. Blue mod, blue borrow cover, blue faceplate, blue, blue, it's all blue, just like every other boxer. We'll have an accent kit that's so so let's say you ordered a green uh, an od green mod you it's going to come all od green but then you could put black black and you have your option it's going to come with a battery cover i think it looks funny that way other people might like it but you know i i think if you look at all the pictures i posted i only change out these two parts You'll still get the battery door, but you know, to me, it's it's too much of the two tone. I like just just changing these two parts. We have a couple of options that we'll also give. If if you see on this, there's some some thumb grooves there. It's more more just for decoration, but we'll offer one where the bottom is open. So if somebody has a tank that the airflow is on the front versus we have, we, there's a ton of airflow in here. You guys will see all that next week. There's airflow on the right, there's airflow on the left. Okay, there's also something which I haven't shown yet. I'm careful not to show it, but you guys will show it off when, when you get them. Um, that we're increasing the airflow on the inside that nobody's done before. It's either innovation or common sense or a combination of the two. Um, so I don't think anyone will need it, but everyone asks for it. So, you know, who are we to say no? Um, we'll, have, we'll have the same door with, with front airflow also. So you'll have the two sides and the front. We'll also have one that's got a cutout, a cutout over here that will show the tank, the juice levels in the tank. If somebody wants the door with, with a window. 
we'll have that with and without the extra airflow. And then the fifth one that we'll have will be a, a translucent one. So it's not gonna be, well, it is 3D printed, but it's not nylon. It's, it's a special new material that you could see, see right through. And it'll work and look exactly the same. It's just gonna be transparent, translucent. Um, so those are the options of ordering it. Nice. So, oh, so they could order it with that front door having the airflow opening. When they place um, their order, there'll be an option for that. Yeah, yeah, they'll they'll get both. They'll get they'll get the regular the regular door like this, and then they could order they could order the extra airflow um, burrow cover. Oh, so that's a separate purchase. Yeah, yeah, the burrow okay. cover are there. I, I forgot ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Oh no, no, I think they're nineteen. I think they're nineteen dollars. Will you at Will you at any point sell that. burrow tanks on your website or no? No. We'll leave that to, to all the, the there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of, of borrowed tanks, of bridges, of. All right, well, let's get to yeah, the we'll most. leave that to them. Let's get to the most important part. And I think this is what everybody's waiting on. <clears throat> when are folks going to be able to actually have these in their hands? Um, we're shooting for, we're shooting for shipping the end of this month. Uh, anyone who's pre-ordered one, it'll go out the end of this month. We are, um, we're almost, we're almost, um, through with the first batch. There, there's still a bunch left. We added more. Uh, but once the first batch is gone, then there'll be a delay. You know, whoever's in on that first batch will get it right around the end, or it'll start the end of this month. Go probably go to the first week of, of April, um, and and uh, a few dealers will get them around the same time, and then um, uh, then there'll be a, a short period that that we're waiting for more to come in. Uh, I don't know that exact date yet, but um, it won't be that long. You know, we we don't plan on having any kind of crazy situation, like uh, you got to go on a group, you got to sign up your name. It's, it's on our website. It, it, it'll get to that point after the initial craze is, is done that it's just the point, you know, a, a click buy sh ship, uh, you know, coming, coming from stock. Now, what about the stump? Stumps uh, starting to ship tomorrow to, to all the people who pre-ordered them, and uh, then they'll go. Then they'll go up. Uh, I would say new orders on these will will probably start shipping Monday next week. Next week, all the pre-orders will go out this week, and um, new orders will start going out Monday. And those will be just all the colors, all the colors. Uh, Black, white, two greens, gray, blue, red, yellow, pink. Uh, 10, 10 or 11 colors. I think 11 colors on this one. So um, in the future, would you be willing to do a special limited edition with the Russian flag? <laughs> I don't know if it'll be, I don't know if we'll be able to ship it. They might uh, <laughs> they might they might stop the shipment. This is what happens when Mark finally gets interested in something that's been going on for, you know, almost over a week now. He's been watching live streams all day from Russia, so. I feel like an expert right now. Yeah, and you probably couldn't answer a one question about anything, but that's that's perfectly fine. Well, dang, man, this, uh, there's, there's the stump. There's the stump. You see, I, I'm not a cloud chucker. I mean, I don't have a building here to do a cloud, but it blows a nice. And I know the one big question, well, there's two questions. Everybody wants to know when Mark's bridge is going to drop and when Mike's bridge is going to drop. So, you know, that's, that's something I wanted to talk about. People are constantly messaging me, asking me about the bridge. I'm not sure if they're even going to make an Eclipse bridge. I think the problem they think is that who's going to actually pick it up to sell it. That's the problem. Yeah. They're afraid that they don't want to make a bunch of them. And yeah, so 
We'll see. I'm working on it. And I don't think there's any company wanting to go out of business right now, so nobody's going to mess with Mark. But uh, Chris Maddy, thank you for the donation. He says, Ginger, does the coupon code work for the other accent parts or just the initial ones? Um, the, the, there's, the, well, it's one coupon code with, with two levels. Um, the, the coupon code is, is for, if you just get, if you just get the unit, it's $25 off. And this is only on the first batch. Once the first batch is done, <laughs> the, the coupon code, it, it's, it's a, a little discount for all the people who are prepaying it and waiting. You know, it's our way of, of thanking them. Um, so it's $25 off if they just get the unit. Um, it's $50 off if they get the unit with the accent pack. Um, so the accent pack is the three parts. The, the, the burrow door, no. If, if, you, if you want the mod in, let's say you order black, uh, you'll, and, and you don't want the accent pack, but you want a window door, you could order the add the window door to it. It's another twenty dollars, and then you'd get twenty five dollars off, not the fifty. The fifty off is is when you get the accent pack with it. And if I'm reading this correctly, and Mark just put this in chat, the coupon code is uh, Putin. The coupon yes. code code is uh, the uh, the uh, <laughs> the bulk the bulk box by Boxer. Uh, uh, the borrow, borrow box. I think it's borrow box by Boxer. You have to watch the video. It's at the end of the video. It's in SD's uh, SD's group or the boxer group. Yep. Uh, in chat. Yep. Look who shows up at the last minute. One of the richest men in the uh, vaping community, Santos, also known as I don't. Do we call him the former Batman or is he still Batman? I don't know what he's going by nowadays. But he says, "Well, damn, Ginger making that boxer money. That's." What is that? That is Capone's Miami mansion. There you go. You didn't even see the strip joint. No. Show them the strip joint you got in the other room. You yeah. got a live feed going. Let's go. Let's go into the other room. Let's go into the other room. Unfortunately, Ginger's house is nowhere near the size of Santos, but it's close. Damn, we getting all kind of crazy up in there. Easy, partner. <laughs> uh. Just make sure nothing comes flying out there. I don't need a. No, no, no. This is this is this is PG thirteen. <laughs> Leo Barry, thank you for the donation. He says, "Great show, gents. Thank you for showing off the new new ginger." And I felt like a vape show. It felt really weird. It happens on this channel for some reason. They're actually kind of like vape shows, and then we do like something on Saturday and Sunday, which just turns into whatever it is we do over there but it's all deep talk that's, that's because we that's because we got a good host on tuesdays <laughs> the guy on sundays just fucking like ah fuck it just talk about it whatever <laughs> oh man well oh i forgot well and the other one again i i guess you could say it's kind of new oh I, hold on before i say that so is there any future plans? Because I noticed that this one has the Boxer logo on it. Are you going to do any plain bro mods? No, I'm done. we're done with the planes. We have uh, we have the DNA 100 that we offer both ways. Um, when you're saying plain, that's like that. So so you could get it. Oh God, it's black. Let's go. Let's go down low. Here we go. He loves his down low shit. Go <laughs> down low. So, so there, there are the two options. Um, that's that's the minimalistic. That's that's the regular logo. Um, you've got you've got you could show off your your dual eighteen six fifty, um, and that's the new eighteen six fifty. Yeah. So the minimalistic one is this one right here, but. I'm sending one back because I had two of these and I'm getting one with the boxer logo on it in an OD green. So, cause I love my 18651. I, I mean, I use the shit out of it. So why not have a green one to go with the batch? The, the back, the backstory there is 
we've always had the big logo on the side since since our first mod. As as you just got a question here, uh, once a week, twice a week, can you make a mod without the logo? I don't want the big logo. Can you make a mod without the big logo? Everybody always asks for what's not available. As soon as it's available, they don't want it. Um, we made, we, fi we figured this was a tiny mod, the, the dual 18650. Um, and it would look good, plain. We thought it would look great. Um, Mike loved it. I think he, you named it 2019 mod of the year. I um, use that. I use that big time. I love that mod. Yeah. Yeah. It, that's it because, was, and, and that's because I kind of like, didn't like the size of the 21700s, but now I'm all about, that's all I use. Right. Is the dual 21s. I love, so yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not much of a difference in, in size, but, yeah. but it's definitely, if you put it side by side, uh, the screen, the screen's blocking it. You know, it's, I'll tell you the truth, Ginger, you know what it was? When I had my uh, Jeep Cherokee, I like putting my mod in the door handle right spot. I don't like putting it in cup holders because it just bounces all around. So the dual 21 didn't fit inside there. The 18 did. So I was all about the 18. Now my new ride fits the 21. No problem. So <laughs> I'm using the twin. But what do you, what do you think of this then, Mike? Say we made a 3d printed cup holder for different mods that you put it in your cup holder. It's the size of, of that, your cup that holder. Would be, and, and this sits into it. That um, would be a great idea to tell you the truth. What's yeah, you call it? You remember? I would uh, love that. That'd, that'd be, that's an awesome idea to have that option for all your mods to have a 3D printed cup holder for the mod. Yeah, we could do Slip that. In. That's easy. So it do. doesn't bounce around. All right. Look next week. Next week, we'll start offering them. Would you say more? Yeah. Yeah. A-Raps used to make the uh, cup holder mod holders. And for yes. each different yeah. mod, they had a phosphor battery and your bottle of juice. I remember those. Yeah. And they were pretty printed too. Pretty nice. Now more. But that's 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 what happened to finish that 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 question is we offered the minimalistic on we offered just the minimum only the minimalistic on the 18650. It was a great mod. It never did well because even though people said they wanted that look, they didn't buy it. We did it on the 100. We sell. 19 to one, 19 with the big logo to one that's plain. Um, so, uh, you know, people say they want the, without a logo. You know, somebody asked me, somebody asked me online, yes, uh, two days ago, uh, the same thing. Will you, will you make it minimalistic? I said, you know, I, I explained the story to him. He goes, you know something, you're right. I have a DNA 100. I took it with the big logo. So... You know, that, that's what happens. You give them a choice that most 19 out of 20 people are taking the big logo. Um, so it just doesn't pay. It doesn't pay when, when you're at you're at 25 mods and 10 different colors. That, that's 250 combinations with stocking. You know, now we have to go to 500. No. Well, you know, all mine at first, all of them had the big boxer logo on it. And then when you offered the minimalistic one and I seen, I was like, oh man, that thing looks badass. So then I got a few of those and then it was like, oh, I like these so much better than the other ones. And then it kind of hit me the other day. I'm like, I'm kind of missing it with the boxer logo on there. So, you know, it's. The it's, president it's about to it's, do his speech. Okay. It's true what you're saying, uh, Ginger, about the logo, because I was like, oh, that's cool. You're going to make the minimalistic you, you one. You wanted a speech, Mark? No, I said the president is about to go live. Hey. You're, not looking at, you're not looking at my screen. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so I, I'm already there. I moved. I moved there. to the Oval Office. What was you saying, Mike? Oh, okay. It's my turn. Take it away. <laughs> I'm not going to get another chance to come on, so I've been hot. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. the minimalistic. I was like, oh, that's cool. I want to, I like minimalistic. I like that. I like to have it. But to tell you the truth, I like it better with the logo. So they are, they are cool I understand looking. what you're saying. You're better off just, sometimes you're just better off making them just with the logos because 
it, that's it, what it, it, everyone really wants. At, at the end of the day, you know, we, we're still a company and we, we got to try, try and turn a profit. So it just, we weren't doing it with, with the minimalistic look. Yeah. Right. You know, we'll still continue to offer them because, you know, we already have them. Um, but, you know, the tool up for them, you know, it's, it's not just like, all right, don't print the logo. It's, it's a completely new file. It's, it's a, it's a different file. It's, it's double, double the order. You know, you're ordering 10 in blue. You got to order, you know, 10, 10 with the logo, 10 minimalistic. So you're ordering 20 instead of 10. Yeah. Then if you end up selling, uh, 10 with the logo and one without, and then you run out and it's like, okay. And then you're stuck with those and nobody's buying them. Right. Yeah. Where well, you could have been selling them with the logo. Cause that's what everyone, the majority of people really want. So. Well, I realize every time, and you know, I'm down there all the time. Anytime I'm, when I'm in Miami and I ride past your house, I realize Ginger's turning a profit every hour. So we'll just leave yeah, it at sure. that. Yeah, sure. So, uh, all right, folks. Look, I know everybody in chat is just like, oh, my God, I got to go watch old Sleepy Joe. I got to go watch him. I'm just dying to go watch him. Well, go watch him then. Goodbye. <laughs> we are at that point, though. We've, we're going to give you eight minutes of OT. You've gotten it. But, Ginger, thank you for coming on. You did a hell of a presentation tonight. Y'all keep your eyes open. If you're not in the Boxer Mods Facebook group, go over there. And uh, he's probably not going to let you in, but go over there and try to get in anyway. He charges like $25 a head just to join the damn group. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely keep your eyes open. Some good stuff is coming. And with that being said, uh this is going to be the funniest thing come next week. It won't be funny for me to have a Burrow device because I've, I've had one before. Mike's been rolling with them for a while now. Mark has had one but never really used it, so it will be funny as hell to see Mark sitting there on camera if he actually does sit there on camera and use it because... It's it, it, going it, in the garbage. <laughs> It probably is. So Ginger, and make the sure. funny part is these two said they will never, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever yep. use a borrow mod. Yep. Mm. Well, he called Ginger called us out on Facebook on it, so I guess we're gonna see where this shit goes here. So, but uh, after getting this right here in the mail the other day, and and looking at it, and looking at Mike's video, I think I'm gonna get more enjoyment out of something like this. Than that shit I was using before. So oh, you will. So I'm, I'm, I told you that. I t I told you that about the pulse, the uh, vessel RB. I'm like SD. You would actually like this. Yeah, the just the pulse. Man, it just it just doesn't seem. I guess and I had to have something in my hand to actually kind of look at it and say, yeah, maybe maybe this is going to be something good. So if you if you, if you're enjoying that, if you enjoying it. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll hook you up with the vessel RBA, so you'll have two. Here what about we go. the five twenty, Mike? You like the five twenty? Five twenty is the five twenty. I thought was good, but I actually like the vessel and the Voltro better. Yeah, because they could put they could put PNP coils in with the five twenty, right? What kind of coils? The PNP coils. What is the that? Vupu. Um, Vupu. The Vupu coils. No, the five twenty is a rebuildable single coil. Right, but doesn't it have a bridge with it that you could use? You could. Oh, use... wait a minute. There, there's the other. Yes, there is a bridge, but I'm not sure. I think it was Nautilus, wasn't it? Yeah, Nautilus. I think is one. It comes with two. It comes with the. Uh, I think the Nautilus and the PNP uh, bridge. That, I don't. For some reason, I don't remember. Because because then it's like you're vaping a pod pretty much. Yeah. You're vaping wait, a Vupu pod. I thought it was the GTX coil, the one from Vaporesso. The small coils. Oh, now I'm not sure. I thought it was. I'm not sure thick. too. I'm confused. Ooh, if it is, I got like, I still got that shit left somewhere. Uh, Jason PMT. just. Jason, yeah. So it does have those. So. Oh, and speaking of like, the 520, I know a particular auto parts store out there. Uh, Brad's is apparently going to have these. <laughs> so. Uh, 
another place to go. If you're looking for the finest auto parts in the nation, go check out Brad's Auto Parts. Anything to get your car up and running, he's got it for you. So, uh, yeah, Biden's wife is hot. Anyway, we're out of here. We're getting gone. Ginger, thank you for joining us tonight. We will catch. I don't know if Mark's even doing a show this Friday. He He's like the little kid that's just like looking around and like, oh, look, there's a balloon. Anyway, we're out of here. So y'all have a good night, folks. We're out of here. Best outro in the game. Good night. You and that goddamn shit, man. Let's see.